Generally, attorneys aren't liable in tort law to third parties for acts arising out of their representation of clients. However, an attorney may be liable to a third party for malicious conduct, fraud, or misrepresentation. In St. Louis v. Wilkinson Law Offices, the main Supreme Judicial Court considered whether an attorney could be liable for negligent misrepresentation for statements made as a settlement agent at a commercial loan closing. Dale St. Louis was a real estate developer who, along with his wife Teresa, had participated in numerous closings for construction financing and property sales. In 2007, St. Louis began working with a mortgage broker from North Star Mortgage to acquire funding or refinancing for projects. St. Louis had worked with the broker in the past on refinancing residential loans. However, St. Louis had no experience with commercial loans that included prepayment penalty terms. North Star provided St. Louis with a variety of loan options, including a commercial loan with a prepayment penalty term. Based on the broker's representations, St. Louis agreed to the loan with the understanding that the penalty would be a little more than $13,000. At the loan's closing, the broker was present, along with Sarah Wilkinson from Wilkinson Law, who was hired by Northstar to conduct the closing as a settlement agent. At the closing, Wilkinson read a summary of the transaction's funding details, including the prepayment term. St. Louis believed the term was inconsistent with what the broker said it would be. Wilkinson then stated that prepayment clauses were standard in commercial loans and agreed with others at the table that the penalty would be $13,000 and change. Nevertheless, when the St. Louis's sold the property and paid off the loan early, the prepayment penalty was more than $100,000 plus costs. Subsequently, the St. Louis's sued North Star and Wilkinson in State Superior Court for negligent misrepresentation. The case proceeded to a bench trial, and at the close of the St. Louis's case, North Star and Wilkinson moved for judgment as a matter of law. The court denied North Star's motion but granted Wilkinson's motion, concluding that Wilkinson's only duties as closing agent were to recite, represent, and affirm the transaction summary's contents and that Wilkinson accurately performed those duties. The St. Louis's appealed to the main Supreme Judicial Court.